Good day everyone! It's me again, Ma'am Lara. The topic for this video is the service area of solid figures. Objective Find the service area of cubes, prisms, pyramids, cylinders, cones, and spheres. Before we go to our lesson, let us find the area of the illustrated figure below. Rectangle Length times width 10 cm times 4 cm The area for this rectangle is 40 square centimeters. Circle Pi R squared 3.14 times 7 squared 3.14 times 49 is equal to 153.86 square centimeters. Parallelogram Base times height 5 cm times 4 cm is equal to 20 square centimeters. Square Side times side or side squared 6 times 6 is equal to 36 square centimeters. The last one is triangle. Base times height divided by 2. 8 cm times 11 cm is equal to 88 square centimeters. Divided by 2 is... 44 square centimeters. I have here a situation. Sunny owns an antique shop. He is refinishing a rectangular jewelry box. The can of varnish he is using has enough liquid left in it to cover 30 square centimeters. Is there enough varnish left in the can to refinish jewelry box? We can solve the surface area of a prism by adding the area of each face. So, isa-isahin natin ang area ng rectangular prism. So, area of top, the formula is length times width. So, the length is 3 and then the width is 1. So, 3 cm times 1 cm is equal to 3 square centimeters. And then, sa bottom, since parallel ang top and bottom, so same procedure and solution yung ating makukuha. So, area of top is 3 square centimeters, and then for the bottom is 3 square centimeters. Next is the area for the right and left side. So, ang ating formula is length times width, then 2 centimeters times 1 centimeter is equal to 2 square centimeters. So, parallel then ang right and left side. So, same procedure and solution lang din yung makukuha natin. So, the area for the right side is 2 square centimeters and then the left side is 2 square centimeters. Last is the area for front and back side. So, same formula length times width. So, 3 centimeters times 2 centimeters is equal to 6 square centimeters. Then, parallel pa rin ang front and back side. So, same answer pa rin yung makukuha natin. Then, kapag nakuha na natin lahat ng area ng face ng ating solid figure, i-add natin sila. So, area for the top, bottom, right, left, front, and back, the total is 22 square centimeters. So, the surface area for the rectangular prism is 22 square centimeters. There is enough varnish left to refinish it. Sa pagkuha ng surface area ng prism, pwede natin gamitin ng formulang lateral area plus 2B. So, first is the lateral area. Ang formula ng lateral area is perimeter of the base times height. Yung perimeter natin is 3 plus 1, 4 plus 3, 7 plus 1 is 8 centimeters times the height. So, ang height natin is 2 centimeters. 8 cm times 2 cm is equal to 16 square centimeters. So, yan ang ating lateral area. Next is 2B. So, yung B na malaki dito, ito ang area of the base. So, bakit siya naging 2B? Dahil dalawang ating base, yung top and bottom. So, ang ating area for the base is 3 cm times 1 cm. So, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is equal to 6 square centimeters. So, i-add lang natin yung lateral area and then yung 2B. So, 16 square centimeters plus 6 square centimeters is equal to 22 square 
cm. Next example, find the surface area of the triangular prism. So first is to get the lateral area. The formula is perimeter of the base times height. So ang ating magiging base sa ating figure ay itong triangle. So the perimeter is 7 cm plus 12 cm plus 10 cm. The answer is 29 cm times the height of the figure. So ang magiging height natin ay C14. So, 29 centimeters times 14 centimeters is equal to 406 square centimeters. So, this is for the lateral area. Next is to find the surface area, lateral area plus 2B. So, magiging base natin is the triangle. So, magiging 2B kasi dalawang ating base, the top and the bottom. So, 406 square centimeters yung ating lateral area plus... So, ang B na malaki, ibig sabihin siya ang area ng base. So, ang base natin dito ay triangle. Ang magiging formula natin ay base times height divided by 2. So, 12 times 4 is equal to 48 divided by 2 is equal to 24. So, yung 24 dito, yan yung area ng triangle. So, 24 square centimeters times 2 is equal to 48 square centimeters. 406 square centimeters plus 48 square centimeters is equal to 454 square centimeters. Next example, find the surface area of the cylinder. Use pi equals 3.14. So first is to find the lateral area. Our formula is 2 pi r h. So itong 2 pi r, ito yung circumference of the base. So ang base natin dito ay isang circle. So, 2 times 3.14, which is the value for pi, radius is 1.5 centimeters times the height, which is 4. So, 37.68 square centimeters ang value natin for the lateral area. Next, find the surface area of the cylinder. Ang formula natin ay lateral area plus 2B. So, itong malaking letter B na to, ito ang area ng base. Ang base natin dito ay circle. So, ang formula natin to find the area of circle is pi r squared. So, pi 3.14 times radius squared, 1.5 squared. The answer is 7.065 square centimeters. So, bakit siya 2B? Dahil meron tayong dalawang base. etong top and then the bottom. So, 2 times 7.065 square centimeters is equal to 14.13 square centimeters. Then, pag-add natin... 37.68 plus 14.13 is equal to 51.81 square centimeters. Next is to find the surface area of the right square pyramid. So our formula is lateral area plus base. So sa ating lateral area, since meron tayong 4 congruent lateral faces na triangle, ang magiging formula natin for lateral area is 4 times 1 half times base times height. So, 1 half times 25 centimeters times 32 centimeters is equal to 400 square centimeters times 4 is equal to 1,600 square centimeters. Next, surface area is equal to lateral area plus base. Lateral area is equal to 1,600 square centimeters plus the base or the area for the base. So, ang ating base ay isang square. Ang formula ng area ng square ay side times side. So, 25 centimeters times 25 centimeters is equal to 625 square centimeters. Then, i-add natin. Surface area for this square pyramid is equal to 2,225 square centimeters. Let's try a rectangular pyramid. So, first is to find the lateral area. So, ang ating formula dito is 2 times 1 half times base times height plus 2 times 1 half times base times height. Since ang ating pyramid ay rectangular, so meron tayong front and back side ng triangle and then left and right side ng triangle. So, dito tayo sa front, 2 times 1 half 
times base times height plus 2 times 1 half times base times height. So, 2 times 6 square meters plus 2 times 2.25 square meters. So, 12 square meters plus 4 square, square meters is equal to 16.5 square meters. Next is to find the surface area of this rectangular pyramid. Our formula is lateral area plus base. So, ang base natin dito ay isang rectangle. So, our area for this rectangle is 4 times 1.5 meters is equal to 6 square meters. Plus 16.5 square meters. The surface area for this rectangular pyramid is 22.5 square meters. Next is to find the surface area of a cone. So, our formula is lateral area plus base. So, to find the lateral area, the formula is pi r s. So, yung curved surface will be divided into equal parts. Then, i-arrange natin yung parts in rectangular formation. So, bali itong pi r, yung length, and the slant height, yung height, yung S. So, 3.14 times the radius, 2 centimeters, times the side or the height, the slant height, which is 6 centimeters. So, our lateral area will be 37.68 square centimeters. Surface area is lateral area plus base. So, ang ating base dito ay circle. So, we need to find the area of this circle. So, the formula for finding the area of circle is pi r squared. So, pi 3.14 r squared 2 squared. So, 3.14 times 4 is equal to 12.56 square centimeters. Plus, lateral area 37.68 square centimeters. So, this, the surface area for this cone is 50.24 square centimeters. Last is the surface area of sphere. So, to find the surface area of a sphere, ang formula na gagamitin natin is 4 pi r squared. So, itong pi r squared, ito yung formula sa area ng circle. So, bakit siya may 4? Because the total 4 areas of circles cover completely the surface area of a sphere of the same radius. Kaya siya may 4 sa gilid ng area ng pi r squared or area ng circle. So, change natin yung value ng pi and radius. So, 4 times 3.14 value ng pi and then ang ating radius ay 4.89 decimeter squared. So, 4 times 3.14 times 23.9121 squared decimeter is equal to 300.9 335,976 millionths square decimeter or 303.3 square decimeters. Always remember, add love, subtract hate, multiply success, prepare to divide, and conquer. Enjoy math, enjoy life! God bless and stay safe. See you on my next video. Bye!